Hello and welcome to your Conto demo. My name is Teresa Schwantner and I have the pleasure of heading up our product marketing team here at Conto. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use your Conto account to get paid, to pay, and also delegate safely to your teams. Before we're chiming in, let's discuss why do we even need a professional bank account? On one hand, it's super important if you incorporate a company, it's necessary. You can use it to pay your suppliers, you can delegate spending safely to your employees, you pay your taxes, and just in general for easy cash flow management. It's very helpful to have a professional bank account. Okay, so let's take a look and log in. I'm gonna log in as an admin. This means I have all the controls, all the views, all the settings under my belt. We do also have specific views for managers, employees, or even an accountant. They only have the right view and settings that are necessary to get their job done. Okay, so here we are on the homepage. Let's imagine we want to put money on our account and get paid. So first things first, I want to go onto the account details section where I'll have all my details with regards to my IBAN, my BIC, my SWIFT that I can easily either download as a PDF or I can just copy it directly in case I need to send it to someone. Brilliant, very straightforward. Going back to our main home section on the history page, you will notice that we actually have unlimited transaction history, which is super powerful and quite unique to Contour. And you can actually cut and paste this in a very sophisticated manner. Either you can look at the filters by member, who spent what, category, receipt, is it verified or not, what notes have we added. So there's really a lot for you to play with just to look at your past transactions in here. Okay. And another way for you to really separate out your cash is by actually creating sub accounts, a very unique feature as well within Conto. Each of these sub accounts have their own IBAN and can be used for different purposes. So for instance, if you want to allocate a specific budget to the sales team, you could create an account that's just for sales. Same thing if you want to keep money aside for payment of VAT at the end of the year, you can create an account just for VAT. Or if you work with various customers and you want to split out the budget that you want to use for each customer into different profiles, you can also create one for customers. So very handy. Perfect. Let's assume that we are setting everything up today together today and we need to pay a supplier. So with that, we need to make a transfer. You see here on the left hand side, we have the transfer widget and you can actually create one straight from here, but it, because it's our first one, let's do it together. So we click on transfer. We create a transfer. And what you see here is that there's numerous ways of transferring money. So you can externally transfer it in euros. You can also, as I just showed you with the multi accounts, internally transfer it to the, one of the different I bands that you have and sub accounts, or you can of course transfer it in different foreign currencies. Or what's really beneficial. And again, something you need to conto is you can actually very easily do bulk transfers in euros. Imagine having to pay all of your salaries. We have an integration with PayFit. It's super straightforward and allows you to save time. We're going to make an external transfers in euros. Coming to this page, we see that we're going to pay from our main account. That's okay because we're actually paying Salesforce as a software. So here we type in Salesforce, who we want to pay. The category is actually online services. This is especially beneficial for bookkeeping and accounting purposes later on. We have the IBAN just here. So I'm going to add it in here. We do, we are kind of late, so we do want to notify my beneficiary. And in this case, it's actually just a generic billing at salesforce.com address. That way that the moment the transfer is executed, they'll get a notice and they'll know that we've paid our, our bill. Perfect, so because we are a, a recurring customer, we also have a customer reference that we're going to add in here. And the monthly amount, this is expensive, is 14,999 euros. Because we're gonna to have to pay this monthly, we may as well add a repeat. So here we're going to say we want to pay monthly until the end of the year because we hope that we can renegotiate our contract by then. And so from now, this is scheduled. Very handy. And what's again, especially important for bookkeeping and accounting purposes is that we can easily also add the Salesforce invoice here directly. So if we scroll down, we have 20% VAT. We can actually again categorize this for our accountant. They will love us. This is in the sales department because we are using it for sales. And because we're doing this on online software, we can also select a software as a category. Perfect. So we're going to submit. Confirm your transfer. You can review everything one more time. 
verification code. Again, everything is very secure with us. And the schedule transfer is set up. Very straightforward. Brilliant. Let's say that for our office, we actually still haven't set up the, the direct debit for our gas bill. So let's go into direct debits and do that really fast. We are here to set up a new direct debit. And actually, Total Direct Energy has already given us their mandate. So here I say, yes, I did receive the mandate. We can upload it again. So we're gonna upload it directly. In most cases, you'll get directly a mandate that has all the right information on here. Brilliant, so I'm gonna continue. The creditor name is not on my list yet. So I'm gonna say Total Direct Energy. And as a category, I'm going to select utilities. Again, another way for us to keep bookkeeping and accounting in mind. And we're building all that into our process, which is very handy. Okay, so we do have the unique mandate reference from the mandate. We also have the SEPA creditor identifier. So I'm gonna add that. And because it's a monthly unfortunate payment that we have to make, we're gonna keep it as recurring. Since this is affecting everyone, we're gonna collect, select the main account. We can review one more time and confirm and submit. Easily now we have the direct debit authorized. Sounds good, perfect. So now that we've set up all these payments, let's also find a way to actually get paid. Instead, in addition to of course sharing our IBAN, let's say that the sales team just had a great success and they got a check from a customer that we want to um, check in. So we can select deposit a check so here it explains to you how to do the step-by-step, -step, but we'll walk for it together. And just as a heads up, you can only do about 15,000 per check. So let's start. The editor's name, let's pretend that I'm giving you this check, which is quite nice of me. So we have in, entered the editor's check number and the date. I'm going to put the check amount as 11,000 euros. I'm gonna add the check number in here. And again, it's highlighted here on the right-hand side where you can find this information. You press next. We say we want this to be actually allocated to the sales account because well done sales. And then we confirm from here. And from there, we're gonna ship the check directly to, a, um, to our check in, in our company. So we're gonna send it directly to Conto. And within about two weeks time, you'll see the money on your account. Brilliant. And uh, now that the sales team has been so successful at selling, we also, of course, want to incentivize them to continue pushing customers and allowing us to sell our product. So for that, we want to give them a chance to actually spend company money and, and really entice our customers by taking them out for lunch and travel to see them, etc. For that, it's very easy for us to set up a card for our sales team. So let's go to the card section. Quick note on this, for someone to receive a card, they need to be added to the account first. And that you can do if you go to settings and team up here, you can easily add them to the account. They will upload a passport just to make sure that they're validated and therefore in a minute, they can be added to the account. Okay, so let's create a new card then for our only sales member. We have three different options of cards. Briefly talking about each, so for physical, that's traditionally used in store. We can actually allocate one to sales quite, quite efficiently because they are going to travel, they're going to use it for car rental, maybe for hotels, etc. We do also have a virtual option. That's used more online. That way you can copy paste all the information. It's quite secure because you can create a unique one with a unique number for each. And usually we use that for software expenses that we need to pay and we create one for each software just to keep track of the payments. What's cool with Contour is that actually you can use virtual cards also in store because we have Apple and Google Pay. And that's especially valuable for a third category, the flash card. A flash card is, you can almost imagine like a gift card. You can set a certain budget and a certain expiry date. That way it's really perfect for one-off use. So imagine someone who doesn't travel often needs a train ticket to go to a conference. You can create a flash card exactly for that amount. Or let's say that we have a, a client gift that we need to buy, same thing. Or even for internal events, if there needs to be a karaoke organized, you can organize that for the exact same amount. You can create a flashcard for your employee organizing the event. In this case, we are creating a physical card because again, we have a salesperson who will travel on a regular basis and for them, it's probably worth it more. 
All right, for the physical cards, we do have various options as well, and they differ mostly on the spending limits, the withdrawal limits, what's included, and then also on the foreign exchange commission, as well as insurance, of course. In this case, because we have a salesperson that travels ex like internationally a lot, we're going to focus on creating a card that actually doesn't charge anything for foreign exchange commission, the X card. So I choose it here. I can actually link it to which card I would like, which, which account I would like it to come from. I would usually select sales, but since we haven't gotten our cash money yet, I'm going to select the main account. And here I'm going to select myself as a salesperson. I have many roles in this company. And what's especially cool is that you can actually build in your policy and your settings as a company directly in the card settings. So if, for instance, I don't want them to have cash withdrawal limits, I'm going to just take that off. I don't, they don't need to have cash. If I scroll further down, we do want contactless, definitely in sales. We need online payments for sure. And then payments abroad is definitely what we just discussed. It's very important. We do, however, want to limit days of use because I don't want my salespeople accidentally spending as they're going out on Saturday night. So here we go. We set that up. Continue. This is the preset limit. But actually, as our company expense policy, we have 5,000 euros for a per salesperson to use per month to go see customers. I don't need to set a daily limit because I do want them to be able to spend with any customer meeting. And the same thing for transaction limit. That could be handy, however, if you want someone to only have a certain amount for lunch every day, for instance, you can set it up this way. In my case, I'm not going to do that yet. But side note, you will be able to be notified each time a transaction gets made. That way, at least you have visibility also on, on the spending of this card. All right, so I'll say continue. And I'm actually going to ship this directly to the company because that way it's safe and I know it's going to be delivered on time. One last look. Perfect. Giving Teresa a card. There you go. Okay. So now with all of this, we have learned how we can get paid, how we can pay someone and how we can delegate safely to empower your employees to do the best job they can do. So I hope you could see how simple and, and straightforward this is on Conto and I can't wait to see you next time. Thank you very much.